Class 4 then, the extended mile once more, 16.50 the trip for race number seven. Headed by Cassida Forza, Matthew Chadwick running for Tony Cruz, front runner, barrier seven for him. Sonic Fighter, course and distance for the first time. Flame Lily also can roll forward, course and distance winner in October. Nitro Express, fifth last man over the 1400 metres, gets up in trip here. Mischievous Sunday, beaten favourite two starts back behind Lurie's last mat over the 1200, again up in trip, and everyone's elite up in class. Finished behind Cam Becky Molly over course and distance last time out, gets barrier three here, and Sylvester de Sosa. Cassida Forza, Flame Lily and break record are the horses that have been up at Chung in the last 30 days. Good to slow the uh, prediction here, and uh, Cassida Forza will uh, try and dictate from the front as he tried to do last time out, but was uh, rolled in the straight only by three and a half lengths. Flame Lily doesn't win out of turn, but is ultra consistent and should get a, a good run. Sonic Fighters trying Happy Valley for the, the second time. He didn't run a bad race last time out. And then you've got uh, Speedy Wally, who's got Zach Purton on back in the field. City legend. Uh, looks to get an awkward run from his stall of gate 12. Here is uh, Flame Lily, goes nicely here in the morning. Ultra consistent on a place line from his 20 starts. He's been placed 11 times and uh, one win as well. So that, here he goes and he goes nicely enough. He should get a good run as well. A uh, City legend, I thought, was going pretty well. Now, he's only had that one start at Happy Valley. He's drawn a little bit awkward at barrier number 12. But it'll be interesting to see if they do go forward with him or go back. They've got the options. He's run both in the past. And the other horse we're going to have a look at here is uh, Mischievous Sunday. Now, he went up to 16.50. I made him the best that day. I was a little bit disappointed with his run. Uh, he's there with Beauty Rush, but he is bred for the 16.50. Mm. All right, Beauty Rush actually on the weekend, um, mm. in actual fact. Let's start off with um, City Legend, Flame Lily, Castor Forcer and Turf Brilliant. Uh, Castor Forcer has a £10 claim here, so actually he's worse off of the weights with a few of these. Yeah, uh, the, the only concern I had with City Legend was just where he maps from gate number 12. It's not going to be easy for him to get in, but he has been racing well. Um, Flame Lily, hard to leave for the Marrera law combination out of your tips here with the way he's been racing at the moment. And the other ones that were there, Casa de Forza, he's got a chance if he can dictate the tempo and get a, a soft enough lead in front, Paul. Yeah, I've got um, Flame Lily and City Legend both in, in the numbers. I just got Flame Lily above City Legend because of the draws. Mm. All right, OK, let's move on to Sonic Fighter. This is over the 1,400 metres uh, for Sonic Fighter. Uh, last time out behind Ultimate Glory, the form looks good. Yeah, it was, and uh, it was a nice run from this horse here at Shards, and he's only had the one go at Happy Valley. That's a little query I had from barrier number nine. He, get back, he gets back and runs on, but he just takes a little while to wind up, so... Uh, I don't know about him on a win line, but I, I didn't get him in in the end, actually. You look who he's been beaten by. He's uh, had Charizard there more than this two runs ago, and then uh, last time out he was finishing off nicely behind uh, Ultimate Glory there. So he was actually his favourite ahead of more than this mm. as well. That was at the end it's of last believe, year. Yeah. But, um, but there you go. All right, everyone's elite comes up in class um, here on the back of this. Yeah, no, he's a horse who hasn't won, but he's, he's come up into the bottom of class four uh, after consistent in class five. Look, he's going to get a nice run from Barrier 3. He's going to have this ultra light weight as well. I've got him in on a minor line. I think the bottom of Class 4 is not beyond him. Yeah, I threw him in solely because he's got a, a light weight here and uh, Sylvester de Souza from a, a good gate, so uh, he's capable of running a race, I think, here. Yeah. All right, Flame Lily, the favourite, Sir Paul, for Frankie Law and Joe Moreira. Yeah, so I've got him on top, Flame Lily. should get the best run in the race and uh, from that position, tough to beat. City legend, just interesting what, the, what tactics they will do with him from barrier 12, but he's got the ability and he's a well-rated horse. Again, he's a maiden, but he's run there so many seconds, hasn't he? He's... Uh, Eight seconds from his 21 starts. Everyone's elite and there for third. I couldn't leave, totally leave Mischief for Sunday out on one bad run over 16.50, so I put him in there for fourth. Three, four, 12 and nine. Yeah, all over Flame Lily here, and uh, he's number three in the book. I think he'll be tough to beat for uh, Frankie Law and Joe Marrera. Had a good run last time out. He doesn't win out of turn, but I think this might be his race. So uh, he's on top to beat 12, everyone's elite. Ten, Speedy Wally. Uh, he'll be running on at the end, I think, for Zach Purton. He's got a, a good course and distance record. And Sonic Fighter. I'll bank of the three there in a, a trio and play around him. All right. I'm actually quite keen on um, Cassidy Force. I know he's got the extra £10 here, but Matthew Chadwick on a leader. And if he gets a soft lead as well... I think Matthew can uh, tie him up in knots. That's the plan. Anyway, Cassidy Forza for me in race number seven.